going on? It's fucking Junko. Uh, am I hallucinating? I... I know anything goes here. But this? This is clearly not fucking okay! I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra-large high school girl. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? She, she's huge! She's way too huge! Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game. Knifarella. She said it anyway. I see, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Hey, hey, want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. I get fucking crushed! <laughs> really, Kazuichi? <laughs> wondering fan service game full of pretty girls. There'd be a CG close up of my cleavage. But, too bad. This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either. You won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> so fucking hopeless! Yep, that's the Junko I know. This is Monokuma's true identity? We, we have to deal with this thing? <gasps> I'm shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Um, is it just me, or did her personality change? I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. You... you are not bored at all! I got bored of getting bored. Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. Even when you're dead, does that mean... Is this person true identity? I see. I mean, what what else you want me to say? I thought that was like a trick Enoshima? question for a moment. Did you say Junko Enoshima? Isn't she dead? It's true. I did end up dying the last time. I, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I I couldn't help it, you know. It was my first time. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. And why is someone who died here right now? Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Are you telling me that the remnants of the spare, us, made an alternate intelligence for Junko? Exuberance! We are now an AI! We have transcended humanity! What AI? Stop saying all this crazy bullshit! You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. She made her own fucking AI, God damn it! And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. That's insane. This insane bitch is Junko Inoshima? She's responsible for everything. The destruction of Hope's Week Academy. The destruction of the world. The only, the one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this bitch doing. Even so, what am I supposed to do? Even if we know she's Junko Inoshima. ...and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends! H hell no! Man, they hate me. And I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. Huh? Tampered? With the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens to you when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happens so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. Up 
uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? It was like real hard, you know? The graduation program is the core part of this game, so it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in a microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about that? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. So you're not gonna tell us until we answer that? We're completely at her mercy. But we can stop progress unless... <clears throat> but we can't stop progress unless we answer. We have no choice but to answer. How long did it take Jungle Hunter to modify her program? She said we were watching how long it took. It's so... Oh, it's... Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. The bomb. The countdown at Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliantly wrong! <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. Wrong? Then what was it? How should I put this? I was just... goofing around? In all actuality, it took you five minutes. I mean, huh? isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers, or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? Edit to download system software. Okay. Dragon Ball Beta. Thanks for interrupting. Thank you. Oh my god. And any other things you want to talk about here? No, that's it? Okay, good. It, it was just for show? In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I get it. Dragon Ball. You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so over predictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? She's... she's seriously messed up. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules, like, don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough! Please stop! Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough with this pointless crap! Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, it's easy. Hmm. It's just a game after all. Just a game? Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. Fine. I won't worry about it. Hey! Who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But... If we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? If she's saying that's how she tampered with the computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. 
If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm? What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is. Man, so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? Oh, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course! We've been working toward that goal for, like, forever! Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Thus everyone can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. Yeah, you are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip. Your will to live is truly ultimate. Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Devices? Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Oh, go fuck yourself. Chump? Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So we just have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With this, we can finally go back. This will be the end. And our friends who died will be saved. That's why... That's why beyond what we expected. What? I don't want to press it, but they won't let me do anything but press it, damn it. Oh! Press it! This is... Oh! Makoto's back! Oh! What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again! It's not again. This time, it's the real one. Real? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. This guy... Is the real Makoto Naegi? Then this is the guy I spoke to. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> Did you also time my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone. And then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. Ah, I'm drooling. I can't stop my leaking. <laughs> what the fuck? How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. Ugh, you always had such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Hey, just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After all this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? 
She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Hey, little old me. Who do we trust? If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. The Despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. What? Then... Everyone who died isn't going to come back to life. They're going to be taken over by Junko? What the fuck? So we would have had like fucking what? Like seven Junkos running around? Like the real world. Once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And, even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Don't... don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fuyuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I can play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. I said... Don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! Junkify All Mankind? Loading my alter ego into everyone who died? I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And then, eventually, there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world! With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete! That's Operation junko Fi All Mankind in a nutshell. Oh yeah! Our dreams are expanding and... That messed up plan? Is your goal? Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Doesn't she need a minimum amount of people to actually do the graduation program? Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The reason she wasn't able to do that was it because there's something she didn't do? So then the reason is... Uh... The rules. Let's see. Got it. It's because of the school trip's rules. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. The leader cannot directly... Oh, okay, whatever. Fuck you. I want to read it. Protecting us? Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh, well. Even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other. Because you couldn't kill us yourself. Then, is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us! Don't fuck with me! What about our lives? Chump change. I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you! So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate. So you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. How... how can you be so cruel? Because Junko and Oshima is... the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. 
You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles, or a lifestyle, or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko Enoshima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. Are you talking about the mass suicide of the reserve department? And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes! Oh, that memory is so beautiful! It made my brain melt! Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? No. Everyone in the reserve department died besides Hajime. Could it be she's talking about... Yeah. I see! Are you talking about the reserve course's mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the reserve course. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. The, the mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the reserve course all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number! You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all tied at once. Mm. That was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If we choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will act, right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? What, what the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong! That's not it! But ultimate despair is hated worldwide. And their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped, can't be helped. <laughs> LOL! This is nothing to LOL about! But it's so ironic! You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice! Even though you came all this way to win the game, even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win! <sighs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along! Isn't that just so fucking tragic? Stop it! It was all a mistake. Was this really just a mistake? Was it a mistake to think we go home alive all along? What about the killing in the Clash Trials? Was that just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs killed off each other? That's... That's Don't just too... There is a way you guys can get out of here, without letting Junko out! Huh? Oh no, there's no way such a convenient... There is? Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. First she heard of it. Then it's a way that even Junko doesn't know about. The way to get out Junko doesn't know about. Is it the thing that Makoto gave me? Shutdown sequence. I see! Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. 
so I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can't stop it. Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. Huh? You know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? The reason we can't activate the shutdown... Not enough people. I see! Because... There's not enough people? <clears throat> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown... Out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However... Out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You know what would be awesome right now? If Makoto goes like, I anticipated this. That's why I called them back up and everyone from the fucking first game just shows up. <laughs> you still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe... Oh, uh, I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. Them? That's not yes! something you need to take your time for. <gasps> I knew it! Believe this is the dopest shit ever! Our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. Chiyoko! Byakuya! I knew you guys would come. Kyoko and Byakuya. Leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. Kyoko is the original number one waifu of Danganronpa. Why would I ever doubt her? I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey, what's going on? Why are there more people again? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages! It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later! I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remembered. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Wow, you are weird. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I love you. Yeah. You're alive! But you're so skinny now. I feel so bad for you. You shut up too. Um, are you two also from the Future Foundation? No, it's probably not just that. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy, you survived and helped recover your memories. Tragedy. If the Killing School Life is referring to that, are the survivors of the Killing School Life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. Th there's three of them here now. The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, stupids! Making such a suicidal move. Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now, all the ultimate despairs. <laughs> You said it again! Just ignore her. 
As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her in this messed up world. In this messed up world? Can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. Huh? Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we enter the program... Then we're gonna end up... Huh. We're gonna revert back to Ultimate Despairs. D does that mean we'll go back to being Ultimate Despair? That's right! Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. <gasps> no! Hey. Are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern, but this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight? I... I thought we finally reached the end! Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last Ultimate Despair. For this reason, the remnants of Despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. When you say support, do you mean <coughs> to make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why... I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Will you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like really nasty. But but still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Meaningless? Vanish? Does that include her too? If we lose our memories of this world, are we going to forget she ever existed? Are they talking about Chiaki? If that happens, does it really mean that... That she, an existence confined to this world, is really going to disappear? She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she Memory's existed. not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition, that's like a bad joke. We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We, we don't know anything about that past! Hey, why... why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me... People who claim to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. 
Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. <clears throat> when you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the future foundation win? Or will my despair win? All right! Things are starting to heat up! This isn't a game, you know. Au contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again! Only because it's true! Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. Huh? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? C question As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question! Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together! The same outcome as the killing school life. Do I just have to remember what occurred there? People Junko lured out. Huh. Should connect the dots. Logic dive, really? Do we really need to do this? Come on. Give me the first question. Aw, oh, come on, fuck that. Aw, oh, checkpoint system is bullshit. I'm literally at a point where where they're dragging on the fucking game a little bit here. So close to the end, but yet so far away. Are you telling me I can't make that jump? Are you fucking, like, serious right now? Oh shit. Why can't I make that jump? I'm not that bad at this, am I? There we go. I swear to god, the jumping in this is like the weirdest fucking thing ever. I wish there was a way to go faster. Mm. Come on. First question. Who did Junko Nishime want to lure? The Future Foundation. I'm so sorry, like, I, I literally just wasn't paying attention to that one.
All right, question number two. What bait was used to lure them? The killing. Oh shit. God damn it. Why they do that? Oh, come on. Not all the way back here. You're crazy. Alright, question number three. What did Junko use to force them to kill each other? Oh, come on, out of time. Fuck this. 